What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more casual matches for Regulation D in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're continuing or finishing up our Generation 6 starter teams, and this time, we got ourselves a Delphox team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But something that I gotta go over before we even start anything, gotta get this one off my chest. I'm a little upset right now. I just recorded two absolute bangers of battles. And I look over to my right and I did not hit the record button. They were awesome matches and I'm super upset. We went 2-0. We were killing it. Played this team perfectly. And I wasn't recording. It was so upsetting. I looked over. I was like, no shot. No shot. And yeah, so I'm back here in the beginning. Re-recording everything. So we're back at it. Starting off today's team preview with Florges. Florges, great Pokemon for today's team. It's got Symbiosis and a Life Orb as item. Rocket Moonblast, Chilling Water, Helping Hand, and Protect. Psychic Pokemon is going to be the star of the show. It is going to be Delphox. Delphox is a lovely Psychic and Fire type with the Fairy Terror type with the Magician ability. And if you guys do not know what the Magician ability does, it is when you do not have an item, the next Pokemon you hit, you are actually going to steal that item. So that could definitely come in clutch, especially with Delphox with the Eject Pack. I really do like that ability. It's got Overheat, Psychic, Dazzling Gleam, and Protect. Love this moveset for this Pokemon. Third Pokemon is going to be the Roaring Moon. Roaring Moon with Protosynthesis and the Booster Energy S item. Rock and Throat Chop, Scale Shot, Acrobatics, and Protect. Fourth Pokemon is the Brute Bonnet, and I really like this Pokemon because it could be used for support side with Rage Powder or big time attacking with Seed Bomb and Sucker Punch. Its fourth and final move is Spore, and it's got the Rocky Helmet as its item. Fifth Pokemon is Tornadus, and Tornadus easily the best support Pokemon in the game at the moment. It's got Prankster, it's got Cover Cloak, Tailwind, Bleak Wind Storm, Sunny Day to pair up with that Delphox and the Lilliganth, and then we got Taunt for our final move. Hisuian Lilliganth is in our sixth slot, and everybody knows once you get this Pokemon out in Sun, it could get some work done. It's got Chlorophyll, White Herb as item, Rocking Close Combat, Leaf Blade, Sleep Powder, and Protect. Guys, you wanna rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that casual ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Delphox team. First match coming at you guys, we're going up against a Groudon team. A little weird to be going up against on the casual ladder, but you never know what you're going to find on the casual ladder. They got Groudon, they got Tropius, Typhlosion, Storm Drain, Gastron, and then they got Tornadus. And last but not least, they're rocking Heatran. How should I go into this one? How should I play it? I kind of like Tornadus just for a little bit of speed control. And at the same time, Hisuian Logan and Delphox are going to be great. So you know what? I'm going to lead both of them. Or not both of them. I'm just going to lead Delphox and bring Hisui and Logan in the back end. And then last but not least, War Moon's going to be great for a nice little hyper offensive kind of set. And we're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in this first match. But like I mentioned in the beginning, dude, our first match was so good. I was making some good plays, all that good stuff. And I looked over, I was like, man, dude, that recorded button's not on. I forgot to hit it. Very upsetting. It's definitely very upsetting. But if you guys want to support me a little bit extra, make sure you guys become a member to the Jeans channel. There should be a join button right next to the subscribe button. If it's not there, there's a link down in the description below to become a member. Seriously, it's greatly appreciated. And you get a bunch of cool channel perks like sub badges. It's really, really dope. But they set the sun for us with Groudon. They set the sun for us with Groudon. And from here, you know what? I'm just going to go into a Tailwind. And I'm just going to go into a Terrasilize overheat. And the reason I want Terrasilize is because I do not want to take big time damage from the Groudon, right? I really don't want to take big time damage from the Groudon. And you know what? Um, I could just get rid of you. I could, yeah. You know what? I'm just going to get rid of this and then, and then hard swap into uh, Logan. Or a Jack Pack swap into Logan. I think that's a good play for us. I really do. We're still going to Terrasilize just in case he goes for a Tailwind and the Groudon outspeeds me and hits me with like, with like uh, Crystal Pice Blades or some sort of ground move. Really do me dirty, so I'm, I'm just not dealing with it. I'm just not dealing with it. So I'm going to go into Delphox here. I'm going to boost up with a nice lovely Tailwind. And Delphox is going to get after it. And they're going to taunt me. Cool. I'm down with that. I was going to taunt them. That would have been funny if I taunted a person using taunt. Definitely would have been funny. But out comes Overheat. Should be able to just KO you. That's not. That's some big time damage though. But we are gonna swap with the jet pack. That's fine by me. And we're gonna swap it to Logan. Lovely little Logan. Which I do have white herb on it. So I could actually go in the Warren Moon, which is not a bad play. But I'm gonna go into Logan. Just cause sun's sun's thriving. And we're gonna get after it that way. I'm gonna go into Logan here. We'll see what he wants to do. He's gonna go for an EQ. That's totally fine. 
That's why I was gonna go into the war room, but I really want Logan out in field. And I knew Logan could soak pretty well, right? Yeah. So Logan's soaking pretty well. Um, I'm gonna try to land a bleak wind storm. Better than nothing. Or I could just taunt him, actually. Oh, I'm taunted. Ooh. Yeah, it's ugly. I guess we'll go for a bleak wind storm. And you know, I'm gonna put Groudon on to sleep first. I'm gonna put Groudon on to sleep before I hit it with a leaf blade, because I know for a fact it can eat up a leaf blade. So I'd rather just put it to sleep first. And then get after it that way. The sleep powder's gonna land. We're saying night night to Groudon. I'm not dealing with it. He looks sick though in this generation. Like graphics and everything make him look look amazing, right? And I think Groudon Kyogre are one of the coolest legendaries of all time. But who dodged attack? Cool. Groudon dodge attack, because I really wanted to just land it on the Tornadus. That's gonna work fine. Because now I can just start throwing leaf blades into that Groudon for free. Logan is gonna be fastest on the field and should be doing good. I just need like one more turn of sleep out there for Groudon. That's really what I need. So we'll see who their next Pokemon is, and it is going to be Heatran. A little bit of an issue, but I guess we'll deal with it. So I'm just going to go into the Leaf Blade here. Actually, I could just I could just rip into this thing. I could just KO this thing and White Herb. Yeah, it's going to be my play. I'm getting rid of Heatran. Heatrasalizing. Not going to be Heatran. Don't let it be Heatran. It is Heatran. Should have just stuck on my guns. Should have just stuck on my guns, man. I should have just stuck with my guns and went after Leaf Blade. Hopefully Bleak Wind Storm can land though. Be nice. Close combat's gonna fly here. Can soak pretty well. Can Bleak Wind Storm land? Can we get that to land? Because White Herb's gonna bring us back here. Bleak Wind Storm, can you land? I know you have a low chance in the sun, but we're gonna hope. We're gonna hope for the best here. Who's dodging it? Groudon just dodged again. Both of them's dodging it. Oh man. Heat Wave's taking me out. Groudon's still asleep. I should've Leaf Blade. I should've got off with some damage on that thing. Should have done it. Lava Plume comes out here. Taking out my Logan. Doing some damage to the Groudon, though. Just doing some damage to the Groudon. And this thing is going to be leftover, so it's going to be able to get some HP back. I could just go into an overheat into that thing. I'm kind of leaning towards doing. Hmm. You know what? I'm scared to steal move, but... We're going to look to get off an overheat while the sun's still here. We still have Warm Moon in the back end with Booster Energy. Really do like that. Um, hmm. We'll go for another Bleak Wind Storm. And then from here... Actually, how many turns is left in, like, the Tailwinds? Okay, one. So, yeah, we're going for the Bleak Wind Storm, and I'm just going to go for the overheat. We're going for the overheat in the Groudon. Groudon's definitely going to wake up here. But I like the, I like the Terror type on our, uh, on our Delphox. But yeah, we probably should have stuck with our guns. We made, we tried just uh, going overboard with it, trying to get rid of the uh, the Heatran. Can we land this? Can we just land one? Hit that. Okay, we hit the uh, Groudon. But cool, we're going to be able to take out Groudon here, which is pretty big. I'll get rid of Groudon here. I'll say see you later to him. And we're not going to have to deal with that. So my special attack does drop harshly, but still. Another... Another overheat can take out that, uh, what's going on. Oh, we did take his leftovers, though, which is cool. We have his leftovers. Flash Cannon's gonna KO me, probably, right? Yeah. Okay, I don't think we're sitting in a bad spot. I really don't. I really don't, because we still have our booster energy. War Moon in the back end. Gotta thank Heatran. Heatran's gonna be a little bit of a problem in, uh, in the next series. But my team's Tailwind is gone. Uh, I might want to just set up another Tailwind. Considering they have one. Probably my best play. Now they go in the Tropius. Okay, I actually really like that they have Tropius. I don't mind Tropius. Now I go in the lovely little War Moon. I like its typing. And from here, yeah, definitely Tailwind and just get rid of Heatran. Definitely my best bet. So I'm going to Tailwind up. My Taunt is gone. And yeah, we can just start slowly ripping in these Pokemon. I'm going to get rid of Heatran first because, I, again, I'm not too worried about Tropius. Little banana neck. I like that thing. <laughs> Just got bananas jingling down from its neck. <laughs> I can go for a banana. I like a good old banana. But we're going to set up this nice lovely tailwind. Warm Moon should go first. No, yet. Yeah. Oh, hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. That's wild. That thing's a quick boy. And this thing lives on one? That is absurd. That is absurd that this thing might have just won with that. Um, their Tailwind's gone. Persons is gone, but now we boost energy. Wow, that Acrobatics would have actually KO'd. Wow. 
Wow. Mm. What do I do here? They might have just won off of that one. Acrobatics. Uh, he has Dragon Pulse. I don't think we're going to KO this thing in one shot. That thing's pretty bulky. Um, so Heatran. Mm. We're going to go after Tropius. Maybe try to KO this thing. Can we KO it? We do. Awesome. Big time. Big time KO for more Moon. Big time. Because I'm pretty sure we can eat up whatever this thing has to offer, right? A Flash Cannon. You should be able to eat this up. You do. I love you, Warren Moon. You're the man. You're the goat. This thing has no first time priority. And we should take match number one. Bang, bang, bang. Let's go. Clutching up in the back end, War Moon. Being an absolute dog. What a first match. We've been, we've been playing some good matches today, even though... Two of them were not on recording, but this one was a solid match. We're 1-0. Let's hop into a second. Let's go back to back. Second match coming at you guys. Going up against a tough team. Dragonite, Shin Pao, always a problem. They also have Amoongus, Urshifu, Cresselia, and Heatran. Just like we versed in match number one. But uh, Sun is definitely going to be good for us. So we might just want to set it up. A first turn priority. A little bit of a problem, right? We could go Brute Bonnet. Nice little Rocky Helmet. Fire Terra. I think that's pretty good. I think I can get down with that. Maybe a Brute Bonnet lead? Hmm. The speed is going to be a problem, right? Speed's a problem. Because they got a first turn priority moves like, like crazy. Huh. Did we go Delphox? Who do I want to go into here? Man, Brute Bonnet's not bad. I could go Brute Bonnet maybe... Maybe Delphox for lead. What do I roar moon? Bring Delphox in the back end and maybe just bring Tornadus. Or do I just go like Florges or something? Now we're gonna go Logan. Just have Logan back there. So no support for us. I feel as like the support's kinda it's kinda bad for us. It's just like a waste of a space. Cause if they just go first turn priority, like what's Tornadus really doing? Nothing, right? It's tough, it's tough. First turn priority is tough. It's real tough. Let's see. I think I'm gonna bring out here. See? I think I didn't go into that. So Proof on S can come out here. I think we just terrestrialize into fire and we we rage powder out, right? Go for a nice lovely rage powder. We put synthesis boost, which is lovely. Um hmm. Make him take some Rocky Helmet damage. I like it, and then. We just scale shot? Scale shot's not bad. Hmm. It's gonna lower my defense but boost my speed. That's tough. That's tough. Maybe we'll just stick with acrobatics and go after Shen Pao. I'm with it. We'll stick with acrobatics. Maybe we'll go for a scale shot next turn. But yeah, sucker punches, all that stuff is just... Hmm. E-speed's e problem. So we're gonna try to get Brute Bonnet a little bit of loving out here, but I'm telling you guys, this match is gonna be tough for us. If we win this, it's gonna be gonna be sick. It's gonna be awesome. So E Speed comes out here. Rocky helmet damage is gonna fly, which is good. Maybe I should just scale shot drop that thing, but I like acrobatics coming out here. And Rage Powder comes secondly, which is wild to E Speed. That's weird. Icicle Crash gonna fly here. Brute Bonnet's gonna soak really, really well. And we're gonna acrobatics cross. Nice. So we zip up some damage here. Uh, hmm. Sucker punch? Did we sucker punch? Mm. I'm gonna go for a seed bomb to KO you and just scale shot. You might be choice in the E speed. Chen Pao ends up protecting. I'm looking to finish this thing off with scale shot. Let's see what he ends up doing. E speed coming across the board here. That's exactly why I didn't rage powder. And scale shot should be able to KO this thing. We're hitting at least twice, yeah. Get it on at here. We're not dealing with it. So we get rid of you. Um. Hmm. Our defense is dropped, but our speed does increase, which is good. That's actually really good for us. C bomb's gonna get blocked, so we're not sitting terribly. I wish there was a way we could set the sun, but. Still, Urshifu's probably coming out here. And that's just a problem. <laughs> like, it's just a problem. <laughs> like, we dealt with the Dragonite, and now we're gonna have to deal with Urshifu? No, it's gonna be that. It's gonna be Heatran. Um, 
I don't mind heat churn too much. I mean, Rage Powder. Is the Rage Powder gonna be your play? I could put this thing to sleep. I lean towards that. You know, I'm just gonna protect. Hmm. I'm gonna try to put Heat Train to sleep. I know it has Flash Fire. Sucker Punch coming out here. Cool. Get a nice little block, but we were protecting anyway. And Earth Power is gonna fly here. My soul. Hurt. Just want to put this thing to sleep. Just want to put him to sleep. Okay, so from here. What do we really do? What do we really do? This is terrible. I do not know what to do. I mean, close combat could be some big time damage, but we gotta get rid of Shen Pao first. We have to get rid of Shen Pao first. And if he sucker punches into me, it's like, ah. Oh. Which I think is happening. And you know, we're gonna close combat, and we're just gonna go into an acrobatics. Because if he sucker punched me, I'd rather Logan just try to pick up the KO, right? We'll see what they want to do. And there's Terra. Yeah, they're locking it down. They are locking it down. A little grass typing again? Yeah, these things love the grass typing. They love the grass typing. They absolutely love it. But we'll see. Is Sucker Punch coming after me? Yep. Can I eat that? Nope. <laughs> Not happening. And now they're still sitting here with Shen Pao and Heat Chan on the, on the board. Close Comet's going to land. Do some nice damage, but... This thing's gonna drop me with a heat wave, unless it misses. Unless it misses, which we can hope. We can always hope for a big time miss here. We can always hope for a big time miss. And he connects. Gone. We're gone. We're dead. GG. Good game. Um, hmm. I mean, Del Fox is, is just getting ripped into here, right? Yeah, I mean, we stand no chance. Unless we KO with gleams, but. Mm mm. Not happening. Not happening. This is simply not happening. Yeah, Earth Power. Oh, yeah. If Del Fox can somehow clutch, that'd be insane, but I just don't see it happening. So we'll go for Daz and Gleam. It's not Stab. I think they just outspeed us in Chaos. Well, he, actually, we might be able to outspeed Heatran, but not this thing. And again, it has Throat Chop. Yeah, we're dead. <laughs> we're dead to that one shot. It's just, it's just a bad matchup there. First turn priority, Pokemon's doing us dirty. Heatran's such a good Pokemon. We're one and one. Let's go grab ourselves a winning record in match number three. Third and final match on its way, and we gotta watch out for this Illusion Hisuian or Zoruk. It always throws me off, but it's a very cool team we're going up against. We got Thunderous, Zapdos, uh, Iron Treads, Skelly Dirge, who's awesome, and then Fluttermane. I mean, we could set Sun here. I feel like Sun could be really good with Tornadus, so you know what? I'm gonna go Tornadus, and do we go Delphox turn one? I can get down with some Delphox. I'd really like me some Delphox. So I'm gonna go Delphox. I am gonna go Tornadus. I'm gonna bring Lilligant in the back end, and then gotta go in with the Moon. The Moon clutched it up for match number one. We're looking for him to do the same thing in match number three. Let's do it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. It's winning record time. One and one. Last match. Couldn't really do much about it. I kind of seen it coming, right? Well, you, you always know when you're going up against like a certain team, you're like, oh, yeah, I'm definitely losing this one. And that's how I felt in the last one. I was like, I'm going to try, but we definitely losing this one. We're going to throw out a little bit of zip zap action. That's what I call Zapdos and Thunderous. So double double. Electric Pokemon. Uh, from here, I can set up Sunny Day. I could indeed set up Sunny Day. Or I can just go into a Tailwind. But I'm thinking of just Sunny Day. Going for an Overheat. What do I set up a Tailwind? I mean, I could actually just Terrasilize. Tornadus, just for support purposes in the grass, which I really, really like. That's exactly what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to Overheat. Try to get off as much damage as I can on Zapdos. The reason we're Terrasilized this Pokemon is because I do not think they're going for an air move into my Tornadus. I think more so they're going for an electric move. So if I can get a sunny day off this turn and a tailwind next turn, I really feel as we could be in the driver's seat for this match. So that's what I'm going to be trying to hope to do. A little bit of Terrasilization in the grass. We're going to set the sun. Looking to get big time overheat damage off on the Zapdos. And we outspeed. Okay, cool. Can we KO? Oh, let's go. Crit with the Delphox? Crit with the Foxy? And now we can eject pack out straight into Hisuian Logan. So this is actually what I did in a match that I uh, wasn't recording for and that I won, which was a cool play that I really, really liked. We did this exact same combo. We just did not Thrasilize Tornadus. We set the sun, we overheat, took out a Pokemon, and then we're able to eject pack out into Logan, who is now Chlorophyll, doubling his speed in the sun, and is amazing. So we do that, and here comes the Wild Bolt Storm. And we're going to... Tornadus actually dodged an attack. 
That's exactly why I wanted to actually just do that terror type, was in case that move actually landed. It's just a problem. It would have been a problem. We would have taken out a Twinaz, and we couldn't have gotten off the moves that we wanted to do. So now Skelly Dirge comes out here, and... Huh. I'll set up the Tailwind. I'll set up the Tailwind, and I will go into... Actually, I can put you to sleep, Skelly Dirge. I'm going to put Skelly Dirge to sleep. Oh, and he protects. And he protects. A little bit of protect, protect action. Now we get off a nice lovely Tailwind. I could swap to an Otis next turn, which might... Do I want to make it my play? A little bit. But I'm putting Skelly to sleep. So Skelly Dirge to sleep. We're not letting it deal with us. We have two grass type Pokemon on the field. And I might want to hard stop out my Tornadus at this point, right? And I could swap him straight back into Delphox. I really like. So I'm going to swap into Delphox here, and I guess I'll just start chunking up damage here, because I'm going to overheat into the uh, the Thunderous next turn, which I know should be able to KO, especially in his Sun. It just does so much damage. So we're just going to look to chunk up some damage on the Skelly Dirge here. I don't think Thunderous is going to KO any of my Pokemon. He's going to send out the Deli. Or I'm going to send out the Foxy. The Fox. And here comes a Terra. Be a Skelly Dirge Terra. Be a Skelly Dirge Terra. Highly doubt it is, but be a Skelly Dirge Terra. It is not. You're going to go into straight ice. That's just, that just screams hit me with overheat. Or even close combat. Or even the combat. Let's see what he does here. Leaf Blade's going to fly here. Do like five and a half damage. <laughs> and Terra Blast is going to come into... My Delphox slot. No, my Logan slot. Okay. So that's going to take out Logan. I don't mind. I, I don't mind. Uh, yeah, I could bring out War Moon. Protosynthesis boost. I really like I, I like where we're sitting. Skelly Dirge is going to be slumped. And yeah, from here, I got to bring out the moon. I got to bring out the moon. It's really, Tornadus ain't doing too much damage in the sun. It's going to miss a lot of its... uh. Uh, storm moves, so that's fine. Plus, we get pro synthesis boost. So from here, I could Obi. I could definitely Obi. I might just overheat. Yeah, I'm gonna overheat. I might have to hard swap Del Fox next turn. Actually, let's do this. Actually, no, 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 no. We're gonna overheat. Finish that off, and we're just gonna throw chop. Should be a double KO. I mean, he's gonna protect. That's totally fine. I think we're sitting in such a good position. Really? Oh, you wake up early. You protecting too? That's fine. I mean, protect isn't doing anything crazy. I mean, maybe wasting out a Tailwind turn. But it still feels my Pokemon are pretty fast, right? And we got perfect moves for these guys. They can't Terrasize anymore. We like where the typings are at. I think my Pokemon might be faster anyway. Plus, we still have one more turn left in Tailwind. So, Overheat gonna fly again into the... Uh, Ice Thunder slot, and we're just gonna throw chop down Skelly Dirge. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I don't think there's a way that they can really avoid this. They can't double swap, so one Pokemon's at least dying. Throw chop coming out here. You're dead, Skelly Dirge. Overheat gonna fly. You're dead. Unless we miss the overheat. Be a little bit of a shame, but I got faith in my Foxy Lady. There she is. There she blows. Get him on out of here. I'm gonna drop our special attack, but that's fine. That is fine. We still got our Warm Moon. Everything is working perfectly. Perfectly. I could hard swap the Delphox, which I might do depending on what Pokemon comes out here, but we should be fine. And we get his life orb. Ooh, love Magician. I love Magician. Really liking that. Our Sunlight is gone. Wish we had it for one more turn. Protosynthesis is gone, but now we pop our booster energy. And now Acrobatics can do a crazy amount of damage. Ooh. Tailwind's gone. Everything's ending. Sun. Protosynthesis. Tailwind. Final Pokemon comes out here. It is the Treads. The Treads is coming out here, and it's going to boost our energy up. Quirk Drive. A little, little bit of Quirk Drive action. And speed's going to get heightened. Um, i going to go for Overheat, and I'll go for Throw Chops. I wonder what he's going to do. He's going to be able to EQ. That's fine. It's going to take out my Foxy. And Roar Moon's going to chuck up some damage. So this thing actually outspeeds my Roar Moon. Hopefully Roar Moon can do a good amount of damage here. Star Shop's going to fly here. It's not going to do crazy amount. Now I can go into Tornadus. And I can set up a Tailwind just so we can get off some damage. I could just straight up protect. But now we're going to Tailwind and we're just going to stick with a third chop. 
The Tailwind to take speed back in our favor. This trend might be a choice a scarf. It's pretty fast. Go chop coming in hot here. And that's just gonna get a high roll and we pick up the KO. Awesome. 2-1 for today's video. Great set of matches. We grab ourselves a winning record yet again. Let's get it. Del Fox absolutely being a beast in today's video. Going 2-1 and, and dealing some big time damage with overheat. You also paired up with the Liligan and the Sunny Day Tornadas. It's pretty much GG's. That combo could do some crazy work like we showcased today. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to leave a like on it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.